Hey everybody, and uh, welcome to a new Let's Play of South Park The Fractured But Whole. Yep, this is going to be the Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday slot. Why? Because I wanted to play a brand new RPG for once, just once on the channel. And this is like the only thing that was coming out that wasn't ridiculously, you know, out there. Um, I could have waited until like next year and there would have been other things to play. But you know what? God damn it, I wanted to do one. So whatever. Um, what is this? Ubisoft thing, okay. I mean, I think we're already in the Ubisoft club, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I think that should all be set up already. I don't know why that did that. One, two, three. One, two, three. And let's go ahead and play. I have not played. Um. I have not played this at all. So, yeah. And I also like. When's the last time I actually watched South Park of all things? It's definitely been a very, very long time. It gotta be Americans that made this game. So if it's anything like the first one, it's going to be horribly inappropriate. And goodbye advertising money. <laughs> Not that we really make that much anyway. Ugh. What has become of this city? There used to be laws, justice. Not anymore. Crime is out of control. Cats are missing, and townspeople are being victimized. Oh, hey! Who pooped on my porch? What's going on? <laughs> whoa, whoa! We were supposed to protect those who couldn't protect themselves. Get, get off my car, you little pecker! Now superheroes are torn apart by political differences. We are two sides at war. But war isn't going to save our city. Time travel is my only hope now. Myths tell of ancient times. When a new king united a kingdom torn apart by a powerful stick. Hi, hon. Shut up, man. There's no time to waste. I have to go back, change the present if I can, and find this cat. And in doing so, perhaps I can change what has happened to all of us. Oh, cool. And now we're in character creation. So, hair. Let's try and make us. Just for the fuck of it. What do we have available? Probably a lot. I mean, I'm sure it really won't matter. Like, we get, we're going to get a little further in and all this is going to be either changing or covered up. Let's try and make us. Um, so, I have longer hair. Change color. It's more like that ish color. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a ginger. Can I not? Okay. Is it good? Okay, good. Uh, makeup. There's makeup in this? <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, I guess. It's just so weird when it does it like that. Oh, yeah, the Jesus beard. Totally. I do remember that being like the Jesus beard. No, nah, I don't wear glasses. Although I have started wearing glasses, haven't I? There we go. <laughs> Just change the color of the cape. Uh, black like the night. Oh, okay. There we go. Now we can change the color of the shirt. Uh. Let's go with like a yellow. Black, match the cape. Alright, there we go. Moving on. Whoa, what? 
<laughs> really? Alright. Let's, let's go with the middle option, because... Don't worry, this doesn't affect combat. Just every other aspect of your whole life. Oh, okay, so this is literally just the, like, statement thing. Gotcha. Well, for making us, we're pretty bail. But, alright. Wait, I already did. What are you doing? Oh. <sighs> Ubisoft. Just make a goddamn menu that works. Although I have a feeling it's just... Doesn't work that well with the keyboard and mouse, and I'll have to go get a controller eventually. This is the first game, which I haven't played. Taking a shit, apparently. My toilet? Oh. Found the sweet spot. Then press Y to start. Okay. Well, why doesn't work? Welcome to games being completely based on controllers and nothing else. And now I have to go grab the Xbox controller. All right. So I guess we're holding down that. All right. Oh. All righty then. Okay. Anal itch away. Bottle of gooby gun. Anything else? Why do they sound like Sims parents? We came here to hide. More friends just means more trouble. You're being paranoid. You need to lay off that stuff. It's changing you. Oh, lay off. It's the one thing that helps me relax from your stupid shit. Oh, hey, whippersnapper. Yeah, that, that's all it seems about right. Your friends are downstairs, kiddo. Get out there and play. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, then. Tally's our tutorial person. Oh, wait. Haven't we already done this? I'm just doing it again for no reason. Although, wait. Can't I, like, collect the shit? Or maybe I just... Oh, there's a little check mark. So I have to poop in all of the uh, toilets in the game. What the fuck are you doing? He's fucking eating brownies or something. Alright, I'm guessing this is our room. Aha! Our room. Which, I guess, I get an extra little something from... Uh... I get an extra little something from Ubisoft right here. I get a lot of extra somethings, Jesus. And 350. Oh, that's this menu. Okay, we can fart. What's, uh. Aha! Uh -huh. Inventory. Oh, it's our phone. Okay, gotcha. Uh. I'm guessing I can't actually equip stuff yet? Like, I don't have an actual. 
equip menu yet. Okay. No, I, I have a fart attack, though. That'll be useful. Maybe. I don't fucking know. Is she crying in the kitchen? Okay, then. <laughs> Your friends are at the front door, honey. Go outside and play. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Families being torn apart every day. Just get a lithium battery? We could just throw that at people and it'll explode. Well, then. Okay. Where are you going, my Where's why is there an actual battle axe? Is there, there's nothing over there? Okay. Listen, you gotta check everything. Although wait. Nope, can't check that. What, you just moved to town and you get to be king? I think you're a little pussy. Go, oh hey! Go. You t t totally power. does work that way. X to select my power. Uh, move within target. Press A to use my power, which is just a punch in the face. Oh, cool! That's awesome. Huh? Is that because I fucking? Hell yeah, I am. Oh, but Cartman's gonna appear from the future. Alright. Attacking the enemy combat advantage gives you the first term. Okay. Alright. <laughs> That's right, because they're just all kids. Alright. So like this. So only the sides get pushed back? Oh no, everybody does. Jesus Christ, it's a stop sign. And then this is a regular punch. Uh, how much damage does it do? Can I see that? No, I don't think I can. All right, well, let's take out this dude. The guards of the dark court are pussies. Hey, shut up. The Moors will triumph. Our king is undefeatable. It seems like it right now, doesn't it? That's actually not going to take him out. Huh. That's also not going to take you out. Will it take you out? Yeah. That, oh, okay. So the red is how much it takes out from their health. Alright. Punch him again. He's just beating up the other kids. Jesus. One of them ran away. Damn. Let's go. We've got to get inside Carpenter's house. Stand inside or die. <laughs> it's fucking Lego bricks. Oh, yeah, why not? Because everything in front of here is lava. Oh, dude, no way. All that is lava? Yep, everything from here to here is lava. You can't cross it. Shit. Come on, let's get inside. We can't. They're seeing everything in front of the door is lava. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> Well then. That's the dragon roaring. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, man. He's still not dead. It has how much health? 
Jesus. All right, so the Y attack isn't going to help me at all, but I can knock you back into the dragon. Oh, there's a kid right there. That's fine. Yeah, come up to me. I'll knock you back into the dragon again. It's got a fire breath. Oh, it's going to hurt its own dude. I see. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. But then I don't get to... Yeah, I guess I don't get to attack if I move out of the way. Hammer. <laughs> oh. God, that's great. <laughs> I like this combat. It's like pseudo strategy. Bram. Jesus Christ. King douchebag. Oh, that's right, because in the first one, your, your name is just douchebag. Okay. I'm going to go back inside now. Oh, wait, where's my house? This one? Oh, okay. I thought I could go through the garage. Press and hold A to move on next. I see. Alright. Butters. Fucking. <laughs> I was waiting for the, like, very just blunt one. Oh. I thought the king was going to do a sweet jump, but then he just did that. Alright. Am I supposed to keep tapping A? Okay. That's the weird moment. Okay, then. Oh, I thought I thought that was still part of the cutscene. God, it's so seamless. It's fantastic. Oh, wow. Look at the town. I guess I wouldn't be as impressed if I'd play the first one, because it's like, yeah. Think about joining a gang. This might be just the kick in the pants I need. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can play our own game. Like, um, how I... I, don't know. I know how you feel, bud. Do you you gotta hang out with the cool kids? That's the only way you're gonna have fun as a child, right? Right? Right. I'm guessing is that a blow up doll in the 
Right, yeah, it is. Okay. Nothing in here? Okay. Good. Fine. I didn't want there to be anything there. What does that say? Wizard stomp. Stump? Armory. Wanna go play Star Trek? I'd Spock. <laughs> Actually, yeah, why not? Let's play Star Trek. Hello. The boys are down in their little basement playroom. It seems like anything with a gold handle could be open. Give it a shot. Yeah, I, I, I got that. Tally, I got that. Jesus Christ, there's no, no, no notification for anything. I see, so I need... I need his... Sure, my fuck crap. Alright. Oh, did you get locked out? I'm afraid little Eric put a lock on the door to keep me out. I'm sure he has the passcode written down here somewhere. Yeah, I got it. RBG time. This is what I was missing. Oh, I can't wait. Well, I am playing an RPG. I don't know why I'm waiting for anything. It's just, uh, steal all your shit like a good RPG as well. Can I not play with the cat? I guess not. Alright. There's Cartman's room. Punch cracked objects. What's cracked in here? Oh. Cartman's journal. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, Christmas Society is, uh, drowning... G50 G fifty four or GS4? I don't know what that means. Um some of these things are gonna go over my head. Kyle, Mom, Clyde, David, PC Principal, this is shit list, Denver Nuggets. Jesus Christ. This is messed up. <laughs> Fuck you, mom. Oh, Jesus. There's a lot of shit in here. I get the feeling that uh, that in the last game, from what I've heard, was like all the references to the episodes. And I'm guessing there's a lot of episodes that I've missed. I haven't watched in quite a while. Pipe fitting handbook. There's dildo out in the open. Crack stallion butt plug. Alrighty then. Oh, let's go take a shit in Cartman's toilet. Howdy ho, gaming bud. When you enter a bathroom, don't be shy about taking a potty break. You can get some neat stuff when you use the toilet. Good luck, bud. Oh, god damn, really? I'm so confused as to what I'm supposed to do here. I just do this before I lose the gas meter? Oh, uh, Sokka Slammer. Like that? <laughs> so fucking confused. These mini games on the toilet, they're gonna get difficult, aren't they? Sphincter fruit, really? Jesus. All right. All right. <laughs> this officer, somebody appears to have put lava in front of my door. Well, no, it's not hot, but my son told me I will burn to death if I try and cross it. Uh huh. Oh, yes, he did tell me that if I step on a crack, it would break my mother's back. It won't. Yes. All right. Fuck. You, mom. know anything that's not enough mosquito we have to act fast before the freedom pals can a hundred dollar reward do you know what that could mean to our superhero franchise that cat looks pretty old maybe it just died in the gutter somewhere i totally I just died, died in the gutter somewhere right now freedom pals have a hundred followers on instagram we have six the five of us and billy turner who's a ginger this is the key to finally beating those fuckers but where do we start looking that cat could be anywhere we need to split up mosquito Take to the air and check out all the city parks. You got it. Mosquito away. Human kite, see if the cat is stuck up a tree somewhere. You've got the storm drain, Super Craig. Super Craig. 
Super Craig. I need you to use your superhuman speed to get to the mayor's office and tell her we're on the case. Don't worry, Coon. You can count on me. Fast pass to get there. Fast. He was about to fall. God damn. Excuse me. <laughs> You're good, man. You're good. Franchise plan. All right, the Coon movie, Super Craig, Man of Craig, the Human Kite movie, Mysterian Netflix series, <laughs> Coon vs. Super Craig, Fast Pass, Fox series, Coon and Friends, Tool Shed, the animated series, uh, the Human Kite movie, Mysterian season two, Netflix. Who's a uh, Mysterian? He's he's crossed out several times. And, uh, Professor Chaos has also been crossed out a few times. I'm guessing that's Kyle and Stan. Also, they're not here. Danger, do not touch. Hey, 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 hey! Do not touch that! That device can blow up the entire Milky Way galaxy! Jesus, fuck! Mom! The new kid is trying to play with the cube of ultimate destruction! You be nice to all your friends, Eric. Be a good sheriff. Ha! <laughs> Look, dude, we already told you, you can't play. You aren't a superhero. You don't have a costume. You don't have any superpowers. Uh, all right, look, you can watch us play superheroes as long as you don't get in the way. Make yourself useful. Go grab me the Stephernacy device. It's over there. Stephernacy device. Never seen the coon cycle up close, huh? Well, I've never seen someone so bad at finding a Stephernacy device. Those costumes are tailored to the coon's unique body specs. You have to be pretty buff to fit them. That's our holding cell for supervillains. Why would we keep a Stephernacy device in there? You seriously can't find the supernity device? A superheroes use inspection mode, you know. Oh, inspection mode. Okay. There's nothing here. Oh. Oh, was that like an object of interest? Is there one back here? I don't know what it's trying to tell me there. Not here. Oh. There we go. Okay. Well, that took long enough. The fantasy device active. You really want to be a superhero, huh? Play with the big boys? <sighs> well, maybe. Maybe you can be useful. Have a seat at the table, douchebag. Let's see, mosquitoes, ADLs. Jesus Christ, are these even in a human language? All right, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Coonstagram. Do you have Coonstagram? <laughs> yep, oh, boy, that's you're not even yeah. On Instagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. Fucking unbelievable. Let's see. So the first thing we need to fill out on your character sheet is your class. You know what kind of speedster? Since you're a newbie, you can only choose between three for now. For now, okay. Up close brawler. I feel like that's very much me. Blaster. Uh, or blaster. Brutalist. They all have a fart attack. <laughs> Brutalist. So yeah, what an amazing moment for you. You must be excited. I feel I feel like I just want to punch them. A brutalist. <clears throat> or a really pissed off Batman. Okay, douchebag, but now we need to find out what terrible thing in your past drives you. You see, douche, all superheroes have a compelling backstory. It's from that backstory that their powers gain meaning. Let's take you back to when you were just a child. <laughs> okay. You lay awake that night. Like so many other nights, you couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. You walk to the mirror. Yeah, oh, right. Uh, the mirror. The mirror. The mirror, right, yeah. The mirror on the left, of course. Yeah. The mirror. Just, okay, just walk up. No, not there. Not. God damn it. You looked in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. 
You swore you could hear your mother calling for help. Oh. Oh no. I know what this is going to be. You saw two intruders in front of Oh, never mind. Not what I thought. You had to stop them from hurting your parents. You knew you had the power to stop them. So for the first time you called upon your super strength powers. As a super strong brutalist hero, you cracked your knuckles and prepared to brawl. You met the intruders mocking words with a swift brutal bash. Oh, oh, I see. I got to backwards the intruders head spun. Match it. Damn, what are you? Some kind of superhero? Weakly he retaliated. Okay, and I have a deflect thing. Adam on the ropes, but then two more ne'er-do-wells entered the fray from behind. So you turned around to face your new foes. Okay, so this will hit both of them. You charged yourself into them. Oh, it's a charge. I see. Your wrecking ball like inertia sent one shooter tumbling into the other. Ow! I'll take care of the kid, fellow ne'er-do-wells. Fellow ne'er-do-wells. Ran into the fray, boxing you in, right where they wanted you. Right oh, I see. It's like I can recover one after getting hit. <sighs> what are you gonna do now, superhero? But it was you who had them, as you executed a powerful blast from your bowels. Okay. <laughs> Grossed out. Getting hit with a fucking crowbar. <laughs> One of the thugs was so grossed out that it literally finished him off. Nice. As his companions fled, the biggest, ugliest intruder moved in closer. He threw his fist into your body. But with each hit, he only unlocked what lies beneath. Something totally brutal. Ultimate. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I I love it. This is exactly what I wanted. And so you beat them. All seemed to be okay, but then you finally reached your parents' door. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late because when you opened that door, you saw you saw your dad fuck your mom. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's a pretty heavy backstory. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. <laughs> it's like a ripple in time you can't ever change, isn't it? All right. Now that you're a superhero, I have a mission for you. I need you to go out into town and try to get as many followers as you can on Coonstagram. It's the only way our franchise will survive. All right. Oh, got a lot of costumes. Oh, this is all, uh... Yeah, it's all apps. Let's have a real quick look at that before I end this episode. Costumes. So I, I should have, like, a ton of stuff to actually change into. Oh, I can unlock it now. Oh, I see. Cool. I don't know if these do anything, but... <laughs> Princess Kenny's gown. So this has, like, it looks like this has two slots for, like, armor stuff. I'll probably unlock stuff in between the episodes. Assassin's gloves. This is just different colored gloves. <sighs> just, I'll get it later. Accountant glasses. Accent makeup. Oh, just random stuff. Okay. Replicant stripe? That's kind of cool. Uh, keep facial hair. Hair. Yeah, cool. And then the last thing. Coonsagram. Oh, <laughs> new child. I'm Jesus. I hear you're a rightful owner of the relics of Zaron. Check your bedroom toy box. Amen. Oh, that's the, um, I have the, I have the season pass. So I guess like they actually have a day one DLC out, which is the relics of Zaron, whatever that means. So, we should check that in the next episode. Oh, uh, we don't have too much stuff, do we? We have components, so there's a crafting system, I'm guessing. And then a character sheet. Earn titles to fill out your character sheet, you'll get XP. Oh, cool. 25 different artifacts, self 20 puzzles. Power source anal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We don't have a kryptonite yet. We have 
we don't even have a race or an ethnicity like written down. Interesting. So we actually got to like fill out our character sheet as we go. Okay. Well, cool. Um, yeah. Oh, did we was looking at our character sheet? Oh no. It's just because I went into the thing. Anyways. Uh, thank you all for watching. We will continue this next time. I feel like this is going to be super fun. Bye-bye.